Hello and welcome to Navani Melor and Fury video. I'm Shergok, your host, and today we are going to take a closer look at why the very author of Mushoku Tensei is afraid of the upcoming hate Mushoku Tensei will seemingly receive soon. But before we're going to take a closer look at any of this, let me quickly thank my Patreons for supporting this channel and say my thanks to all the users of the YouTube Thanks function for making one-time donations. And with that said, let's start with the topic at hand. Mushoku Tensei has always been a controversial anime. Not because it says or does controversial things, but because the characters in the anime are not always morally good. And this is shown and illustrated. Now, I know it sounds ridiculous to expect that every protagonist or point of view character must always be good. I mean, just think of Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones, who slept with his sister, which also later sparked an entire succession crisis and a war of succession because Joffrey wasn't Robert Baratheon's son and then when he got caught, rather than doing the moral upstanding and right thing and coming clean, Jamie threw Bran out of the window to prevent the discovery of his affair. And again, this was just a part of the first episode. The peasant boy pressed into military service at arguably the harshest border of the entire Seven Kingdoms that Ned Stark had been beheading for deserting in the face of the others was also not entirely good or just. Ned Stark had been warned about the White Walkers and never did anything about them, except beheading the messenger. And he was the closest thing to a morally good protagonist that the world of Game of Thrones had. However, no one would accuse George R. R. Martin of being evil just because he writes about such things or hate him for it. And generally speaking, it's completely normal for complex characters, especially grey characters, to make wrong decisions, decisions they later regret. And I find it amazing that seemingly only anime, manga and novels, so everything that comes from Japan, are not allowed to do or show this. And the hate against the author behind Mushoku Tensei, Rifujin Sama, was so extreme the last time, that he now spoke out on Twitter, before the season was even released, and is now worried that there will be another wave of hate, just because his characters aren't these monotonous, 100% good standard isekai blank slate characters. Again, just imagine how boring Game of Thrones, Overlord or Goblin Slayer would be if everyone was always a 100% good guy. There would be no story to speak of. Many people also simply don't understand that writing about a character doing bad things doesn't mean the author supports or condones these actions. Showing is not the same as supporting. I mean, just because George R. R. Martin wrote characters like Jamie Lannister, Ramsay Bolton, Joffrey or Euron Greyjoy doesn't mean he approves of what his characters do in the books and that he wants his, himself or his audience to do the same things in real life. It's just a story. It's fiction. Without wrong decisions, without problems and moral grey areas, there would be no conflict to drive the story forward. And how one can see Rudy, the guy who didn't go to his parents' funeral because he wanted to stay home and play with his very own joystick as a completely good and righteous hero only to find out that he unexpectedly does bad or morally questionable things all the time is honestly a complete mystery to me. He was never introduced as the quote-unquote good guy. I personally find it completely okay and normal to show characters who are not a 100% good person who struggle with themselves and their decisions, their fears, worries and needs who do not conform to the typical hero character archetype, who only does good, and who also make big mistakes that they will later regret and be ashamed of. While we, the audience, see the scene play out in front of us, think, hey, that's not right, how could he do this? And yes, people who have already read the novels will know what I'm talking about. And yes, showing something that happens all the time, all over the world and also in Japan, is reason enough for such tweets from the very author of the series. 
So in summary, there are some scenes in the second half of Mushoku Tensei's second season that are not okay in real life. And I also condemn them in real life and would not do them themselves. And the author of the story now fears that the next hate wave will break over him and the anime just for illustrating and portraying these things. And for those who want to know what the author most likely referenced, spoiler alert, you have been warned, Rudy has married Sylphie and now has a happy life, but he also will later cheat on Sylphiette with his former teacher Roxy Migurdia. A few days after he lost his father and found out that his mother did not survive being spirited away intact either. He himself was also wounded during the rescue and lost half of his arm. And in Rudy's defense, he did not do this because he was tired of Sylphiette or because he hated her, but because he was at an absolute low point of his life. He was severely depressed and because Roxy initiated the affair, knowing full well how emotionally vulnerable Rudius was at this very low point in his life. Yep, cheating after being emotionally completely devastated, lonely and seduced. This is most likely the controversial thing that will lead to another round of hate, directed at the author and the wider staff and team behind it. Again, compared to Game of Thrones this is laughable. But I have the feeling that for some people who are just looking for a reason or rather an excuse to aggress against the author and the team behind the anime, this might apparently be enough. The internet used to be way, way more chill of a place back in my days. Anyway, with that said, now it's your turn. What are your thoughts about Mushoku Tensei and the seemingly again uh, second hate wave that the anime will now receive, at least according to the author's uh, very own tweet? Let me know it down in the comment section. And while you type, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to Dash 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 Ada Daddy Ada ASK Bad Guy Ye Bad Burrito 316 Bisa Ben C Brandon D Chrissy Crowley 0221 Sia Crystal Prime Dead Slime Death is Mercy, Deathless Dragon Lord, Demon Xenomorph 1987, Devin Downen, Ding Dong, Dragon Lord Placido Saxophone, Duck Wagon, Dunkle Krieger, Dystopia, Dystopia the Second, Enigmatic Unicorn, Ferranchivan, Guy with Dead Head, Hector Marino, Hoss, Huster, Jacob G, Jana B, Jason, J. Morris, Chromius, Kyle R, Lee K. Long, Legendarius, Le Lush Britannia with a Mustache, Lexus Fox, Lord Nishikian Rai, Lord Touch Me, Love Razor, Merovec, Mr. Shoes, Mr. Tweaker, Michael R, Michael Y, Nope, oh hell no, Normal Toad, Okil, Overlord General Gasper, Paddy Pantom, Personage, Primus 11, Rhino Mir, QA Caracos P, Shangox's Daddy, Shadow Lightning Wolf, Shrine Keeper, Sir Axolotl, Super Tier Magic Batista Bomb, Supreme Cheese, Staris, Ted, Texas Deer, The Orc Warboss, Rocket Smasher, T.E. Wang, Vash Hawkeye, Vegito 27, Venture Fanatic, Wilhelm, Zenukai and Zonagon. Thanks guys. Anyway, have a nice day and I hope to see you all again soon on my next video.